What's up guys, Brian back to talk about The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead and the possible connection between the two shows. So if you saw the episode on Sunday, Madison kind of let where she is from out of the bag a little bit. She kind of we heard some backstory of her. So if you don't want to know, spoilers ahead. Spoilers ahead if you haven't seen the episode and you don't want to know. Okay, it's a comicbook.com article. They're really great. Can't get enough of that stuff. There you go. Put it in the description as well. But basically on Sunday... Fear the Walking Dead, Madison Clark had a few too many in a Tijuana bar and started spilling some details of her past to Victor Strand. One of those details stood out to viewers, Madison is from Alabama. Most fans of Fear the Walking Dead found it to be originally originally being fans of The Walking Dead, which means most of the audience put together that she is the only character that revealed a tie to the southeastern part of the country where The Walking Dead takes place. Naturally, the internet busted into theory and speculation with a few different angles of connection to The Walking Dead, gaining steam as the 2016 audience is always hungry for a crossover. I know I am. As soon as I heard that, that Madison said she's from Alabama in the bar with Strand at the hotel, I was like, man, she's got to be connected to The Walking Dead somehow, too. I always come back to that, and I want to see a crossover. I want to see Madison be, you know, someone's brother, sister, aunt, uncle, somebody connected with the show, someone's connection there, so there is some crossover there, and I hope it does. That would be great. That would be a nice little Easter egg or something, or maybe a potential crossover of the cast. But first, there's an idea of Madison being the sister of Rick Grimes. In The Walking Dead comics, Rick has a brother, Jeff, who was mentioned very early in the series and apparently forgotten by Big Sheriff Brother, but not the writers. Earlier this year, a one-shot comic book was released called The Walking Dead The Alien, which followed Jeff Grimes on a journey through Barcelona while the zombie outbreak was fresh. Just as he set sail for the U.S., he revealed himself to be the brother of protagonist Rick Grimes, but likely never found Big Bro, seeing as he was bleeding out due to Walker bite. So... Rick had a brother, why not a sister, right? Madison, Madison's name would have likely been changed for her first marriage, which was why she no longer goes by Madison Grimes. The biggest question, which would apply to all the theories, is why Rick never mentioned his sister in California, and likewise for Madison's lack of interest in connecting with her brother, a cop who may have had answers about what's going on. So that's true. I mean, you would have, you would have, they would have talked about it by now, either show, either side. But you never know. The show didn't, the Fear of the Walking Dead didn't exist until the Walking Dead took off. So, I think it's a possibility, and I would like to. The next possibility would be Lori Grimes, who seems much more feasible. Lori hardly asked questions about her husband, who was in a nearby hospital when the world went down. So her sister from across the country would probably be an afterthought. Very little of Lori's past was revealed to the audience, so it's entirely possible that the two characters grew up together in Alabama. Of course, it would be an interesting, however unnecessary, connection between the two shows, seeing as Lori has been dead for some time now, Madison would never be able to pull off a family reunion. And that's what you would kind of want. You would want Madison to meet up with them in D.C. area, Virginia, Alexandria, wherever. So I think that would be awesome. All things considered, Madison really could be related to a number of other characters. The Walking Dead, the Dixon Brothers, Carol, or even Andrea. I would go with Andrea would be a possibility, but she's gone. That would be great if she was still around the comics. Could have that connection as well. Those fans hoping for a connection may be out of luck, though, because the director says, as of right now, there is no plan. Fear producer Dave Erickson tells comicbook.com from a narrative perspective, never mind the geography at all, it would be too difficult to pull off. I don't think there's anything as far as I read in the comic. I don't think there's any trackway for the, that either. It's such a complicated proposition, and I think for the time being, the two shows just need to exist in their own spheres. And that's what sucks. Just they need to coexist in their two spheres. I don't like that. I like the possibility of a crossover. How great would that be if you saw Nick and Daryl or something and he can fight the Whisperers with their going in too or something or he start he's a connection with the Whisperers and then dies and he, how awesome would it be if Nick was part of the Whisperers Alpha and Beta were with him. They start up there too. Nick dies. Alpha and Beta go on their way. They go across the country. Meet up and go against them or something. I don't know. But there you go, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Is it a possibility? Do you even care? Thanks, guys.